Welcome to Inside Lake Forest. I'm Eileen Weber, your host, and today we're visiting with a local Lake Forest resident, Ed Bernardi. I'll be interviewing him today about a new book called The Reluctant Patriot, an Italian Tragedy. Welcome, Ed. Thank and thanks you. for being with me today. My pleasure. Thank you very much. What I'd like to start with first is talking a little bit about your history in moving to Lake Forest and your family's history as well. Well, we moved to Lake Forest in 1971 and have been here in, on West Westminster ever since. Uh, I'm originally a Highwood boy, okay. uh, born and raised in Highwood, although the story is that I was made in Italy <laughs> and born here. Um, and uh, I have relatives still in Highwood. I it was in the municipal bond business. I'm mm -hmm. chairman of the board of uh, Bernardi Securities. Uh, my son runs the firm down in Chicago. Mm -hmm. a former member of the Union League, uh, former president of the Union League Club of Chicago. I um, went to Northwestern under a Chick Evans scholarship. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm one of Chick's early boys. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to give them a plug, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we have a place down in Florida. And we're down there four or five months a year, and that's pretty much it. Great. Now, the inspiration for the book came, you've shared a little bit with me before our interview started, uh, regarding your family being in Italy and with the war. Can you talk to me some more about your inspiration for the book? Sure. Um, we were very fortunate, as was my wife. Our parents decided to come to the United States in the 1920s before the rise of Mussolini. However, all of our family, mothers, uh, grandmothers, uncles, aunts, sisters, what have you, remained in Italy. So our ties to Italy remained very strong. And while we had problems with the Depression and what have you, but nothing to compare with the problems that our families faced over in Italy in that horrific period between 1920 and 1945. Over the years, Mary and I traveled to Italy and we visited with these people. And I've always been very interested in the First World War reading and Second World War. And uh, I asked questions about their, their experiences during that mm -hmm. time period. And I made notes, and mm -hmm. I, over the years I accumulated many, many notes. About three or four years ago, I decided to write them down and tell my children and grandchildren mm -hmm. about their people uh, over in Italy and how really fortunate they were that their grandparents decided to come to this great country. And um, before I know it, uh, before you know it, I was writing a story, and I gave it to an editor, and mm -hmm. she encouraged me to develop it, develop the characters, and now suddenly I'm writing a historical novel. So I have a historical novel, The Reluctant Patriot. That's how I got to it. Wonderful. Now tell me, it, where in Italy did this story um, occur? Because I know there's a lot of people here in the Lake Forest area that travel to Italy or may have ties. And I think to put it in perspective, as I was telling you from my honeymoon, just taking the train from Venice to Florence, I passed right by it. You did. We, um, there's a small enclave, uh, enclave of, of little villages, about an hour and a half drive now from north of Florence mm -hmm. in the Apennines, secluded, and at that part particular time really secluded. Uh, the town that I, my family came from is called Rilonato. My wife came from a town um, about five, five miles away. She came over in 1939, just before the war broke, mm -hmm. uh, and left, as I said, family behind. Um, it's a wonderful area right now. It's a ski resort area, but at that time, it was the site of some atrocious things that happened, particularly after 1943 when mm -hmm. Mussolini fell. Um, we found Germans killing Italians, Italians killing Germans, and worse, Italians killing Italians. Mm -hmm people in one little town fighting against people in another little town. And interestingly, the roots of many people in this area go to those little towns in mm -hmm. that specific area, maybe a 20 square mile area, in Highwood and Highland Park, mm -hmm. and quite a few in Lake Forest. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the poster and about your main character here. Well, the poster I'm really proud of. A master craftsman came up with the idea and mm -hmm. developed it. Uh, developed the, the poster. The model uh, is a man from Lake Bluff, okay. who quite a few people would know, and a fellow named Larry Larson did the work, imagination, and creative, and create, and the, the creative ingenuity of 
really bringing my book to life. Mm -hmm. This man probably is my is my main actor, main character. He's 45 to 50 years old. He has spent 25 years vacillating between good and bad. He mm -hmm. likes his red, his wine. And you can see he's leaning on this old table, mm -hmm. which is right out of Italy. And he's think he has a decision to make. And perhaps he's thinking about his mother, who 25 years before had said, hey, she, he had asked her, what does it take to be happy? Hmm. Uh, she said, uh, work hard and don't hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. And if you follow that philosophy, and he's there now, and in front of him is are some are some significant pieces. One mm -hmm. is a, a lily white doily, probably embroidered by his mother, mm -hmm. the symbol of purity. There's an empty empty bottle of red wine, and with a gulp left, and he's deciding whether to take another drink, perhaps. And there is the personification of evil, for especially for our people, a real time piece Luger. Mm -hmm. with bullets and he's got to make a choice and as you get to the end of the book you'll find out what his choice is. My goodness there's certainly a lot of passion Ed in this book I can tell already um, from you. the history and from the personal ties from your family um, I feel it and it really makes me want to read it and I know so many others will. Thank your you. book is currently being released now is that correct? Yes. It's going to be at the Lake Forest Bookstore um, the next few days. Wonderful. Uh, there'll be a beautiful display in the window, which Mr. Larson is going to take care of, I understand. Eric, very interestingly, as an aside, perhaps somebody in the audience will know this, there is a society in Highwood called the Modenese Society, okay. which is made up of people from this area. And I'm going to be making a presentation to, to them tonight, really the inaugural presentation. And I'm going, to be, I'm going to be speaking to people who participated, who had family, who really lived this experience. So it's going to mm. be very exciting for me. And it's an ideal place to kind of, kind of introduce Johnny to the public here in this area. Wonderful. Ed, there's been a lot of books out over the years of stories of World War II. Um, but tell me, this isn't just a history lesson, is it? Oh God, no! There, you know, there are thousands of World War One and World War Two stories, and there are thousands upon thousands of stories on various immigration themes. Mm -hmm. Now, this is unique. It's a story that's known in Italy, but I'm sure it's not known to the American public. Certainly not known to people who aren't Italian Americans in the mm -hmm. area that 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 live the situation. No, it's it's not that. As a matter of fact, taking these real facts and developing in, developing them into a story, a figment of my imagination, I was helped um, considerably uh, in a last reading by Roger and Pauline Moore, who mm -hmm. went through my script and kind of did a criticism, if you will, and mm -hmm. I made some changes. And they were made based on uh, my interpretation of those facts that I had. But no, it's it's not a historical uh, historical piece in the sense that you can go back and these towns are imaginary. The people are imaginary. The places mm -hmm. I've been, people in Highwood, for example, will know that I'm probably talking about this town, but even though, mm -hmm. even they, I would not be sure that that's really the town. Sure. Well, it's neat to know that you have this support team of friends and other Lake Forest residents involved and how special to have that right here in our community. Um, as I mentioned, there's so many people who travel to Italy or have family ties, and yet they don't know your story. And I think that's really special to share that, especially here in our community of Lake Forest. Well, anybody going to Italy and visiting France, they should go an hour and a half into the mountains and really find paradise right now. It is beautiful over there, and uh, the people are tremendous. They're just, they're just terrific people. And I think we're back to a situation where all the bad is behind us, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now the important thing is where can people find your book? So your website, Ed, is? BernardiPatriot.com, okay, dot, dot I guess. Um, the Lake Forest Bookstore will have s copies, and there will be other venues available in the oncoming days. So the residents should take a look at the website BernardiPatriot.com. They can find your public appearances on there, uh, whether it's a presentation to a group. Um, you're also available for book club presentations. Yes, I, I neglected to say that. If somebody wants to listen to my patter, I'd be more than welcome to uh, 
find this find a time for them and it isn't a matter of selling books really I just enjoy this tremendously and telling the story I enjoy telling the story mm -hmm. and I want to talk about Johnny <laughs> wonderful so take a look at the website um, as well as looking for your other appearances possibly book signings in the area as well and I think that'll be a wonderful joy to spread to our community Ed, it's been a pleasure having you on Inside Lake Forest today thank you very much you're Appreciate welcome it. it's been a pleasure learning about your story Thank you for watching Inside Lake Forest. As you know, today I've been visiting with Ed Bernardi, a local Lake Forest resident and author of The Reluctant Patriot. I encourage you to pick up your copy at our local bookstore or check out his website, bernardipatriot.com, for a special surprise.